hello beautiful people in today's video i'm going to be showing you all about this gorgeous hair this hair is from wiggins hair in this video i'm going to take you through start to finish unboxing the hair you know styling it telling you the pros and if there are any cons but this hair is a stunner so if you'd like to know more definitely keep watching the hair came by a, you know the regular postal service and it was in this box inside were a couple of items the satin wig bag to store it a hair tie or yeah hair tie then an hd stocking cap which is quite nice i used that as well then it also came with eyelashes that was nice then the hair is a 24 inch we cap size large and this is the hair it also came with a net to protect it for transit and the first thing that i noticed was obviously how well packed it was and the fact that it was pre-cut that's so exciting to me and i might see pre-cut wigs in as much as i cut it myself i like the fact that it's pre-cut it also came with wig combs which you guys can see that i'm showing you very well stitched from what i can see and it also came with elastic band that is adjustable so it's left to you to use that one or decide to go in with yours by yourself so what i'm just doing is just checking texture of the hair it's running very soft through my hands and this is me finishing up my makeup and let's do the video so this is the hair you can see the curls look very soft to touch everything is good so i'm gonna put my mirror up in front of me <laughs> this is a no-no don't let the space between your eyebrow and your wig should be one inch we're gonna move it all the way back okay mm, actually not mad straight from the box and this wig looks good it actually looks nice guys Ugh, that's the length what do you guys think honestly i think the only work i probably would do is just a little bit of baby hairs definitely it's very taut so there's really not much need of laying it i like this v the way they tweezed it i need to camouflage my my stocking cap so i'm just going to yeah i just need to do that i like the way it's like this it's a little bit more natural and i'm just going to paint my part i always prefer to go in with the lighter powder if it's too light i can always go in with a darker powder so a thinner brush will do as well but i like to use a fatter one because i feel like the less thin your parting is the more um natural it is if you've been watching my video by now it should be uh, it should be at least good beginner level you should have passed the beginner level in laying your wig so I'm just going to you guys i think you can already see all the difference already if i'm able to do it side by side i would okay honestly if you are in a rush you can literally go out like this like look at this made all the difference then i'm gonna put on my curling wand why is it hot and i've never put it on put it on the height and then i'll leave it to just get a little bit hot then pending that time i'm going to clip my hair away i just picked this from here this is why i like doing my video here because most of my stuff is here or you can just use a hair tie and i'm clipping it away because the closure is so wide there's a lot of pattern space so i want to decide if i want to literally glue from here to here or there's actually no need to be honest or i'm just going to do this part and this part so this is pretty much self-explanatory i'm going in with my ebbing um original adhesive i think this is the original one not the sensitive sorry mail came in and i'm just gonna put it all over my hairline honestly you're better off doing this before you wear your makeup then you're just going to apply it all over then um you can leave it to dry but i just chose to do everything at once i'm just cutting some baby hairs with a manicure scissors i'm doing both on each side we're gonna do about four soups so two on each side once that's done, you want to go in with your got to be gel, which is on the screen, as you guys can see, and you're going to go with an edge brush. Then those corners at the side as well, you also want to do that. Don't worry if it looks messy or wet. Once we're done, we're going to tie it down with the elastic that came with the hair or even any elastic if you own one and everything is going to be seamless. If there's any 
um, errors or anything that goes on, we can always fix it. It's just hair. It's not the solution to world hunger or poverty. So you don't need to be too serious with it. So this is me just adding more adhesive there. And I'm just using my um, elastic that I said earlier to just tie it down. You can make it tight, as tight as you want. I decided not to. Then I'm going to take my curling wand, which is this. And you want to literally flatten it, not just on the center. You want to do it line by line if you're able to. This just ensures that everything is more sleek. It slips better and this is just me going with the white tooth comb just to you know detangle the hair and ensure that um, everything is just properly and nicely done then you can decide to stop here but personally I like where my parting is flat 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 so shortly I'm gonna take like a wax stick just for any flyaways because it's curly hair and obviously the closure was ventilated and I'm going to go back in with that curling one I was just checking if my camera was still recording there and you're going to use it to like ensure that it's slick, slick, slick. You can use a straight knife if you want, but I prefer not to. Okay, so for the curls itself, honestly, I don't know if I want to even put any product since it's the first time I'm wearing it. Ideally, I wouldn't, but I just want this front part to be a little bit more defined. You can try to go with the leave-in conditioner, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go with the curling gel, my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel. This is actually my daughter's own. I hope she doesn't mind <laughs> and I'm just going to apply it on this front part only let me see okay yeah you see what I mean the difference is clear so just a little goes a long way you can obviously decide to be more generous if you want the wet look but I actually don't mind the volume today I don't mind the volume at all so I'm just going to repeat the same on the other side Definitely can decide to crimp it up like this. Okay. And we are good to go. So you can just decide to maybe finish up your makeup, do your makeup, and then we'll come back, remove this, and then I'll do the pros and the cause of this hair from Weekend's hair. Okay? Okay. Um, let's reveal now. Let's see our work. Okay, okay. I'm not mad. It's just to ensure that all this. Okay. So I'm just going to. Because that thing is like adhesive, it leaves like when you put glue on your hand. Okay, then I'm just going to go in with some dark eyeshadow. This is nice. <laughs> oh, this is so lovely. This is so beautiful. Let me bring it forward. Oh. Look at how nice my comb is also going through it. It's his proper nice guys. Okay, okay, guys, let's do the pros and cons of this hair from Wiggins hair, from Wiggins hair. First things first, the texture, absolutely beautiful. I love how easy it is to run my hands through. I love how fluffy the hair is, soft. I love how it's not too full, but it's also full. It's just perfect. Love that, first things first. Second things first, the large cup is actually a large cup, so that was good. Sometimes you ask for a large cup and when it comes it's actually a medium but this is a fit proper snug i didn't need to over in fact i even needed to tighten the elastic a bit so that was good third pro of this hair is the lace the fact that it was pre-cut very easy to melt in you guys so i did that on camera this is the outcome i did not do more than what i've done also even without me obviously flattening it i thought it, it did a good job even despite the transit it was already flattened here a bit obviously i still went in with my um, curling wand and I flattened it more another pro another pro that I love is just you know how nice the lace melted into my hair very nice I'll see maybe if I can zoom in as I'm talking to you or maybe at the end of this video I'll do close-ups or something 
very nicely it melted into my hair honestly I'm, this is the comb I've been using the only time that I had any shedding was because I cut baby hairs I've combed it and it is not shedding usually curly hair should shed but this one look nothing yet so and this is quite nice so definitely this hair is a 10 absolutely beautiful let me see my teeth okay i thought it was something on my teeth absolutely beautiful and i think it's so stunning so what i'm gonna do now oh i did not show you the back so i'm gonna put this hair to the back and that's the thing see imagine if i wore this hair with like nice statement earrings maybe studded ones long ones hoops it goes i love that it's also um true to length look at the length <laughs> so nice guys can you see hey, hey. <laughs> so yeah that that's quite nice as well and let me bring it back but definitely i'll be wearing it like this i like my hair to the front i like it like this so it's nice so yeah shout out to wiggins hair this is one is a tenner as i said it's a good one 10 stars i love it absolutely or five stars i love it and yeah i'll leave all the details in the description box below as always please like this video share this video thumbs up bookmark it for later all of you that is asking me oh tess i want to buy hair which hair would you recommend i'm not recommending any hair go on my youtube channel look at the hair that i review anyone that picks your attention because i review so many styles i can't compare curly hair like this to bone straight hair but definitely if you want curly hair that is long this hair is a good one to buy very easy to do you guys i don't think i needed too much baby hairs i think this is just perfect so yeah thank you so much for watching until next time stay blessed bye bye